Hey guys, welcome back to my garden. Um, today I'm planning on doing a few things in the garden here. So I've been slowly hardening off the tomatoes and other things. And I just have them in these boxes just for easy transport because they are getting quite tall and it's almost time that they can't go in the garden. This week is supposed to be a very rainy week and uh, so with the overcast I'm going to be bringing them out and I know um, the soil that they're living in right now they won't get the backsplash to create any bacteria so I'm just going to keep them like this for the next little bit. Um, the temperatures are supposed to drop down to 2 tonight and then the rest of the week is supposed to be good weather so I'm hoping that this will help. Um, and right here, okay, let me point towards it for you, is a pile of mulch that I did with old leaves that we have chopped down for me to use um, in the garden. Um, actually, I'll show you over to the other garden that I plan on doing some work with, and we'll go from there. So, because I have had some animals digging into my garden, I'll actually show it to you. Um, and we'll take a little look at my garden see where it's at so I had something actually tear apart my cover completely and um, okay so I've had something actually digging into my four by four box that had the cover on it so I'll show it to you it. and you'll see actually pieces of the cover like it was dug so you can tell that where I put some beans and different things it was dug right into my potato is starting to grow um, and I've got some other things that aren't doing too bad some things that are looking pretty sad I do have one of my beans or peas some peas are starting to come up and uh, I think some beans too so we will see I might just get a little bit out of those but it is my first year I only did a few things so I'm not too upset it is all trial and error and I'm planning on using other spaces to grow those. So this is one of my brassicas. Um, there is another brassica and some weeds. Now this actually, it looks like a weed, but there are actually flowers that are a cover crop that will grow crazy in the ground. They are so prolific, it's not even funny. And I'll show you what they look like. This here, it's a pretty little flower. And uh, it is all over my entire yard. <laughs> So it will grow like crazy. So here is more of my brassicas that are doing pretty good. And I actually have some that can go into the ground. So maybe today we'll put those ones in here. But I decided to bring in some little friends into the garden to see if this will help deter some animals. But I also bought one of these cute little things that does solar lights. This is ceramic, it's very heavy. So it's going to sit on the corner there and just kind of keep an eye on the garden for me and I'm hoping to use some natural ways to prevent some into my garden. So we'll see if that works. Um, I have purchased um, quite a few different um, things for my garden to see if it'll help. Um, I did purchase, this is also a heavy stone ceramic that is solar light with some frogs. That I'm gonna put onto the garden here. Um, hoping that that will prevent even uh, the other frog also will prevent some cut, uh, butterflies and moths from putting their eggs in my garden. Um, but we'll see how that goes. This is my other garden that I thought wasn't gonna do well. Like last year, I used this area. I do have a lot of de-weeding to do, which is fine and maybe plant some marigolds in here and some other um, maybe some carrots and some spinach and other things like that and we'll see what grows over here um, <clears throat> then what I did not show on video but I was prepping another area this area right here has so much dark soil my previous compost was actually right here in this area and I've actually put it all underneath this then I put some cardboard down and then I've got this wood on top of it just to prevent the weeds from growing up so the plan is that that will become a good garden bed 
And then I'm going to extend this fence line all the way over to the box over here. So we'll see how that goes. That is my initial plan. And uh, we'll go back over here and take a look at the other area of the garden. So we've pulled up the lilies. Now some lilies keep wanting to pop up, but I'm okay. We've got so many. We've got some hostess and lilies still in the ground here, but uh, they just really want to grow. And I'll show you the other ones. So this is the corner we wanted to put them in and look how well they are flourishing over here. There's my one hostess. I've actually got other hostess that want to grow. And um, it's gonna be one of those days where we plan and plant and do the best we can. So over here, my poor little tomato. I'll just give you a little look at it. It's actually grown new leaves since I put it in, but the other cover crop wants to grow around it. So I'll show you. And there it is there and I've staked it. And this is a um, cherry, cherry tomato. And there, over by it, I do have some hostas that are growing and uh, some of that other cover crop. So I'm really hoping to get quite a bit done. So today though, on my plan for gardening is this box is already prepped and ready to go. Just see some leaves from the tree that have already fallen. Um, but I'm planning to put in, I had some um, garlic that I purchased a while back and they've started to sprout. So I'm gonna put them in the garden. I've actually soaked the roots. The roots are coming out, so I'm gonna put them in. And I have some onions that are starting to sprout, so I'm going to put those in as well. Um, so maybe I can put you in an area where you can follow along and watch me just do a row, probably of each, and we'll see how it goes. If I at least get anything, even if it's just green onions from the onions and a garlic chive from the garlic, at least it's something that I'm going to be able to use and the seed part does not go to waste. So that's my plan for today. So guys, here is the garden. These are the onion seeds that are starting to sprout that I am going to put in the garden today. And this is what the garlic is looking like. And I'll show you the root system it is quite healthy and strong. So I know that these are gonna do quite well. So I'm very excited about this, so come join me. I also have a couple of brassicas that I missed putting out in the garden, but because of the ones that were already dug up, I think I might be able to put a couple in here and get a couple more for my crop. Yay! Thanks guys for um, coming along with me to do some of the uh, gardening that I just did. I got two rows of onions, maybe three. Kind of tried to do like a cropping like back and forth cropping on the onions, a row of garlic, and the two brassicas that I had remaining. I'll show you, I actually got them into the garden. I don't know why I didn't film it, but I will show you. I put one there and one there. So back to the 10 brassicas in the garden. And they're actually doing quite well, quite impressed. This is a bean. 
I'll show it to you. It might be my only bean that survived. Um, I can just tell by the way it's planted and the seed leaves. So that makes me feel that that is um, a bean. But it is the only bean growing in this garden. Over here is the only pea, the snap pea, that is growing in here, or the snow pea. Um, I do not even see any of my um, seedlings. Oh, there might be other seedlings in here. We will see, but time will tell. And that's why I'm just waiting around just to see what grows. I should have mulched it more, but I did not. So um, watch things grow. So that's what's in the garden. Hey, I don't, I really don't know what that is either, but I'm pretty certain that's potato. <laughs> Uh, yes, look at my dirty hands from the garden. Even though I wore gloves, I still wind up taking it off and doing a couple things. Um, but uh, besides that, that is all I've done for today. I will be doing some seeds later on. It's not like I have a lot of area. I was going to do the corn along the fence line, but with corn, you need to grow it in groups. And I'm not certain whether or not I can grow it in there. But... Here is some of the wood that I pulled out of my wood box, so I may be able to use it. I actually put other wood down here because I just wanted to save it aside, and that's what I used to prep that other garden. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, I may just grab more of these other little flowers, <laughs> the hostess, and put it over where all that nice rich soil is over there. I might just put those over there and just do a lot of my plants that can be over there like that and utilize this space right here by this bush that I trimmed down by the way and uh, utilize this space to do some gardening just like that one tomato I'm really hoping that this is a successful year um, and if you want to continue following along on my journey with this garden even though so far, I've already reached some failures, but not on my part. It's just nature that I can't prevent. So all of my plants <laughs> are doing quite successful um, that I started from seeds. So they are doing quite well. And I didn't get to show you this, but I bought a, a little pail, some strawberry seeds, just to see how they do. And... I've already got over 30 seedlings. So I'm not exactly certain how tiny these strawberries are supposed to be, but already quite a few of them have some true leaves. So we'll see how that goes and how successful that is. Um, and I may take some out of here and put it in my one little raised vertical garden and see how that uh, goes. I do have a container that I don't know what I'm doing with, so I might even use that container for a couple peppers. So that would be one, two, three, four, five peppers um, uh, in container gardens, and then I'll do the remaining peppers. I actually might put them along here with these, but we'll see how that goes. And along the very edge here, I'm going to do a cucumber, a pickled cucumber, and we'll see what else I can trellis. Maybe some uh, bees, beans and peas. We will see because I know I'm running late for that. And then I have this here. This will be my herb garden. And then I actually bought two of these here and I planted seeds for mint in them. But a critter came along and had it along the deck up here. A critter came along and ate them. So I'm going to start some mint indoors because I know it can, they're pretty hardy. Uh, and so once it starts growing, maybe I'll put it in here. I think that's probably the hardest part of all of this is having things of nature that I can't prevent. So we'll see how that goes. I've never actually grown from seed, so the, all of my um, plant gardening last year was done from already grown things and so we'll see it's really starting to rain out now but so i'm gonna go ahead and go inside 
I'm gonna let the garden area all get watered. I'm leaving out my plants to be outside for a little while. Um, I'll show you how some of my tomatoes are doing. So this is one of my tomatoes. I'm very happy with that. Um, this is my acorn squash and it's coming along quite well. So I'm hoping it can go inside the garden soon. And I know I see that there's already some uh, flowers starting to grow. Uh, and is there anything else? I won't show you my peppers because they are doing quite well. There is my pepper plants. Very happy with that. Um, this is my zucchini. It's doing quite well. It did have a couple flowers that we made sure we just kind of, this one has a few not picked up. Now something that I uh, did not, I don't know if these guys are aware. I don't know, did not know how well this would go, but I had grown a seedling, a watermelon from seed. So I'm going to show you how it's doing. I've got to get it off to the side here because I'm caught on it. Okay, so this uh, watermelon, actually I broke part of the stem a bit and I put a small little baby band-aid on it, if you can see it there, and supported it on a paintbrush, yes. I needed to give it a support and uh, it is actually starting to do quite well. <laughs> which I did not anticipate while I was away, it grew most of this new leaf. So I was actually quite impressed. Um, I'll do my research on watermelon, but um, I'm just happy that that's doing so well. And uh, so I'm just very blessed at how everything's coming along. So, um, like I said, if you guys wanna follow along on my journey, uh, just, uh, subscribe or uh, hit the like button and just push the notifications out to other people that may be interested in this um, and I'm just so happy to be able to get started out in my garden uh, for garden, it's my summer garden of 2022 so thank you for following along with me and I hope you guys have a wonderful day take care and until next time bye